Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, back with more Psalm 19. I'm just getting a lot of stuff out of this psalm that I want to share with you guys. And I had a few messages to catch up on, so I was like, you know, it's just, how can I put it? Psalm 19 won't leave me alone. It just keeps talking to me. It just keeps getting my attention. So I'm just like, well, you know what? And since I'm behind on a few messages, let me go ahead and just keep talking about Psalm 19. This message, we're going to talk about something controversial, and I would love to get your comments on it. You don't have to agree with me. You don't even have to like me by the end of the message, but I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel and what I think. I could probably devote a 30-minute message to this, but I feel like this is a small part to a much greater picture. Um, and I'll cover like just, I'm going to cover the brief point here, and I'm going to cover the greater picture in a brief point at the end. So this won't be the 30-minute message or anything. It's going to still be pretty quick, should be under 7 minutes, I think. So let's just hop right in. And again, feel free to hate me at the end of this, but this is, after my study of the Bible, this is what I believe. We're going to go to Psalm 19. We're going to read verses 1 through 4. The title of Psalm 19 is to the chief musician, a Psalm of David. And then starting at verse 1. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. Day unto day utters speech, and night unto night reveals knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. So essentially, you know, you look at creation, you see, you see God's glory, you see his handiwork there. And this ties in very closely to Romans chapter 1, which talks about there's really no one who hasn't heard of God or the concept of God. All you've got to do is essentially look outside and boom, there he is. And that leads me to my personal belief that as far as the question goes, well, what about the people who've never heard of Jesus? Will they go to heaven or hell? I believe those people will burn in hell if they do not believe in Jesus as Lord and Savior. The reason I believe that. All you've got to do is look outside and you can see that no big explosion created all this. All these things coming together so well. I'm just looking at my hand, but just the human body alone, much less the rest of creation. I'm just looking at my room right now, a bunch of white walls with white paint on them. But you look outside. If I want to look outside, if I want to open up that window right there and look at creation, there's no way all this came about, came together and stays together by coincidence by accident, by chance. If you're an atheist and you believe all this is by accident, congratulations, you have a lot more faith than me, a very, very solid, very devout Christian. You have more faith than me, because I don't believe pure luck, randomness, and chance could create and hold all this together. And I believe that if anyone really took to heart and really thought about, you know, well, how did I get here? Why am I here? Where am I going? What's my purpose in life? And I can tell you, Christian or non-Christian, anyone, it's it usually from what I can tell occurs in the teenage years, there's no human being who doesn't think about those questions, who doesn't go through those things. Some people, they think about these questions very deeply and they really look for an answer. Some people are just like, eh, whatever, I'll find the answer eventually. But there's no one who hasn't thought about the concept of God how they got here, where they're going, what the purpose of life is. If thou, I don't think I've met a single person in my entire life who hasn't given that a thought. And if someone pursues that train of thought with an open, honest, earnest heart, I believe that God will answer them. I believe that they will eventually, at the end of that line, find Jesus. I have heard stories. Missionaries going to Africa, that seems to be like the big missionary story place. Good old Africa. They have gone into these villages in the middle of nowhere. Christian missionaries, right? And feel free to Google this online and see if I'm lying to you. They just go into these villages like we're going to tell these people about Jesus. They need to know about Jesus. They go to these villages that are, I mean, they're relatively, you know, they're not nearly as barbarous as a lot of the other tribes that, you know, have been reputedly throughout Africa's history. Um, they're relatively peaceable, relatively well put together. The communities, you know, in pretty good shape and they talk to these people about the Christian concept of God that everyone's just like you know what yeah that's pretty much what we believe uh, some person over here you know they had a vision about 
about you know about how all this came together and we may not have had a name that's pretty much what we believe in and some of the stories that I've heard all the way go down to like there being a sacrifice for us for the sake of our for the forgiveness of our sins I want to say there might have even been a story where the name of Jesus was given in one such vision again look it up behind me see if I'm telling you a lie or not but if you look for God if you really care about him you're not going to find a false god. You're not going to find any god of Hinduism, any god of Buddhism, any god of Shintoism, and you're not going to find the Allah of Islam. If you're on the search for the real one and true God and you're genuinely looking for him, you're going to find Jesus, the one true God of all that there is. You're not going to find a false god. You're not going to find another faith. You're going to find him. And the reason I, I'm not taking a 30-minute message to address this entire conundrum of, you know, well, what about those who, who haven't heard? Are they going to heaven or not? Well, I've given you my perspective that those people who really do care, they're going to run into the one true God, Jesus. They will find him if they really do look for him, even if there's not a missionary to tell them. And the real bottom line of the entire conversation, I don't think this requires 30 minutes, if you're hearing this video... If you're listening to me talk, then the question of what happens to people who've never heard of Jesus, it's a moot point for you because you've heard of Jesus as of this video. He died on the cross, he rose again, and it's through his blood that your sins can be forgiven and that you can go to heaven. Guess what? You don't have an excuse. So you can theorize about it all day long and you can think about it, you can disagree with me, and feel free to let me know in the comments down below, but you don't have an excuse because you as of hearing this message, have heard the truth. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you very much for giving me the time of day and giving me a chance to talk to you. I love you. God bless.